Hello everyone, my name is Luis Remis and together with Shante we're gonna go over the Visual Data Management System or VDMS and an evaluation that we have made on image search application. The Visual Data Management System is essentially a database that treats visual entities like images or videos as first-class citizens. And the motivation for this work was when we started working on applications that heavily rely on visual data. We realized that we had to store metadata somewhere like in a relational graph or relational database any off-the-shelf solutions, but we had to rely on a different system to store the actual images, either an HTTP server or a distributed file system or even an object store like S3, and we had to use a set of libraries to run basic and typical pre-processing operations on the images, for example. That can be done with something like OpenCV and TensorFlow. But the result was that all the information had to be segregated among different systems that have different interfaces. So we wanted to build a database that would solve this problem and would enable applications to store all the data that they need to run their analytics on a single place. So our design principle was to enable everything of anything that the database can provide like storing accesses, accessing and also transforming the visual data behind a single interface. Uh, we want to design our interface so that it integrates very well with visual analytic pipelines and also provide a set of general purpose building blocks and functionalities that would work with any type of applications that relies on visual data. For the arch architecture, we have a graph engine as the metadata engine, where we store all the metadata information associated with the visual objects. We have a visual compute module that is in charge of running any pre-processing operation that we need. And we layer on top of a file system, either local or distributed one. And we also have support for persistent memory. And the main implementation was a query engine that implements a JSON-based API that we have that essentially hides all the complexity of dealing with these types of data behind a single interface. And we provide Python and C++ connectors that application can use to connect to the server in a client-server architecture. For our evaluation, we mainly wanted to assess whether or not VDMS was going to be able to support a very large number of clients connecting simultaneously and retrieving visual objects like images. This is kind of the killer use case or the main application because what we see uh, the context in which VDMS is going to be used is where you have a setup with a large pipeline, uh, machine learning pipelines running training or inference um, over a large volume of images and videos or visual data in general. Because of this, we essentially put most of the emphasis of the analysis on concurrency and throughput rather than latency. For our setup, we started with an image repository, which was an XT4 file system over RAID 5 with 12 terabytes of images. This corresponds to about 100 million images that we have in our data set. And we instantiated a VDMS server that would connect to that repository and provide all these images and metadata through the application behind VDMS interface. And we set up two parallel systems, which use Apache web server to serve the images and one application ba based on Postgres that would connect to a Postgres instance to retrieve the metadata and the Apache web server to retrieve the images and perform whatever pre-processing operation needed on the client side and also set up a parallel system using MySQL. First, we evaluate the throughput in images per second for query two, which retrieves resized versions of the images with one tag and a particular geolocation as the number of concurrent clients increases. The throughput of VDMS represented by the red line continues to increase up to 56 concurrent clients, which is the hardware concurrency of the system. VDMS outperforms both baselines for all databases for this query by a large margin. For the baseline systems, in the case of 100 million, the increase in the size of data seems to have a larger impact on the performance. In this case, PostgreSQL has a performance spike at 32 clients, and the performance for both baselines is less stable when compared to VDMS. This, is, this result can be attributed to the increase in the complexity of the joint operations as the number of rows in the tables increases. Next, we evaluate the throughput by each system for all queries using the 10 million database as the number of concurrent clients grows. VDMS consistently outperforms each of the baseline systems for query one, query two, Query 4 and Query 6 as the concurrency grows. VDMS throughput continues to significantly increase up to 56 concurrent clients, which is the hardware concurrency of the system for all queries except Query 3. In this query, 
the throughput seems to decrease after 32 clients, and both baselines outperform BGMS. In the case of query 5, the throughput of the baselines are less aggregated than those of BGMS up to 16 current clients. At 16 clients, the performance of the MySQL baseline begins to stabilize mm -hmm. while the throughput of the PostgreSQL begins to degrade. However, as concurrency increases, Beyond 16 clients, the difference in throughput becomes clear with VDMS reaching its peak performance at 112 concurrent clients. The reason for that lack of scalability lies on the query implementation. Given that VDMS does not yet support operators that enable querying images to have both connections to a class A or tag A and a tag B, we have to implement this transaction by doing two retrievals. This involves retrieving partial information in the first retrieval, applying an intersection operation to client, and then doing a second retrieval to bring the right metadata and, and or to the images. Our next evaluation focuses performance of BMS in two baselines as the database size increases in terms of number of images. For query one and query two, BDMS delivers higher throughput when compared to the baselines, and this improvement is maintained as the size of the database increases. For query three, BDMS performs best with 1 million images, but the performance degrades as the database size increases. For this query, MySQL outperforms BDMS for a database larger than 1 million. This also occurs in query five, but only for databases larger than 10 million. Degradation of performance is more visible in the larger databases and it is attributed to the two round process needed for this query. For the first two queries, as well as query four, query six, with the exception of the 50 million case, we clearly see that BDMS outperforms baseline systems when retrieving visual data and applying operations. This is one of the most important findings as it validates the design principles of BDMS, which to provide scalability and performance acceleration. Next, we analyze how the throughput varies when a pre-processed operation is applied. Here we compare the throughput of three queries with and without the resize operation. The queries are images with one tag, images with one tag in a geolocation, and images with either of two tags in a specific geolocation. One important thing to notice when comparing the top queries to the bottom queries is that doing the resize operation as part of the retrieval process brings the throughput down by orders of magnitude. This is the case for both VDMS and the baselines. This demonstrates that a resize operation is a significant part of the overall operation. However, with and without resize operations, VDMS is orders of magnitude faster when retrieving images. We have summarized the overall performance improvements of VDMS. The top figure summarizes the results comparing VDMS and PostgreSQL. In comparison to PostgreSQL, VDMS provides up to 364x speed up in certain queries, an average improvement in throughput of about 85x. In the bottom figure, we summarized the improvements over MySQL. VDMS provides up to 96x speed up and an average improvement of 31x in throughput. Both figures demonstrate the impressive improvements over the two baselines. Most of the performance improvements can be attributed to the design principles of VDMS, which aims to eliminate the need of combining and repurposing systems that were designed to handle types of data other than visual data. VDMS by design eliminates most of the inefficiencies that result from a forced integration of components designed for a different range of applications. For evaluation, we see how VDMS compares against a combination of industry standard systems, all of which are needed to replicate only a portion of VDMS's functionality. When compared to PostgreSQL, VDMS provides improvements of up to 364x in certain queries and an average improvement of about 85x. While on the other hand, VDMS compared, provides an improvement of 96x in certain queries and an average improvement of 31x when compared to MySQL. For both cases, the improvements are impressive. VDMS was designed with analytics in mind. It simplifies the process of data preparation and data access and provides functionalities non-existent in alternative options. VDMS can help simplify the design of future applications that rely on visual data by efficiently handling complex queries. Thank you for attending.